two minutes, 45 seconds. Vehicle to internal power. The ground umbilical is beginning to swing back. T minus 30 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds and counting. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. Intermediate. Fly now. And the Soyuz is now on its way with Mike Hopkins, Oleg Kotov, and Sergey Rozansky on a six hour ride to the International Space Station. Good first stage performance. The Soyuz delivering 102 tons of thrust from its four boosters and single engine. The first stage of the Soyuz measures 68 feet in length and 24 feet in diameter. It is currently burning liquid fuel for the first two minutes and six seconds of the flight. Flight. 70 seconds into the flight, velocity is now 1,100 miles an hour. The four strap-on boosters have now been jettisoned. These have completed their job and have dropped away at an altitude of 30 statute miles. The Soyuz is now traveling at 3,937 miles an hour. All is nominal. <laughs> the launch shroud has now been jettisoned. The rocket's altitude is now 52 miles high. Confirming launch shroud jettison. Observing. Confirming. There's a look at Mike Hopkins there in the right seat of the Soyuz. Everything on board going according to plan. Vibration, oscillation, within norm. Normal operation of the systems. Uh, 
The still used core stage is performing as expected. The core stage of this vehicle is 56 feet in length, 13 and a half feet in diameter, with a single engine with four fuel chambers providing 96 tons of thrust for its three minutes and 28 seconds of operation. The stage will continue to burn until the four minute 43 second mark. The Soyuz uses what's called a hot stage technique. The third stage will ignite while the second stage is still burning. This is why the Soyuz has an open area in between the second and third stages. Second stage is uh, separating and shutting down. Interference. Current out to 105 miles. Third stage thrust activation. The Soyuz now being propelled by the single engine of the Soyuz's third stage. This engine is providing 30 tons of thrust and will burn for four minutes and two seconds. Separation third stage. Three hundred thirty seconds. Uh, thrust is nominal. Once the third stage delivers the Soyuz to orbit and the module is separated, a series of pre-programmed commands will be executed to prepare the Soyuz for orbital operations. Everything is fine on board. These stored commands called time tag commands allow many of the Soyuz's systems to be automatically activated by onboard computers at precise times stored within them. So you continuing to fly, everything is going uh, right down the line. At 8 minutes and 45 seconds into the flight, we have third stage cutoff and separation. The single liquid-fueled engine has shut down and dropped away at an altitude of about 125 statute miles. Alex, uh, congratulations. 
The third stage is performing an avoidance maneuver. All the communication systems and the solar rays have now been deployed. Okay. Blue Star, this is Moscow. And the core's antenna has been deployed. The Soyuz is now orbiting at an altitude of 143 miles by 118 miles. That orbit will be raised systematically over the course of the next six hours, placing it in close proximity to the International Space Station. Control of the spacecraft from here on will be overseen by the Russian Mission Control Center just outside of Moscow. But again, an uneventful and successful flight into space for Oleg Kotov, Sergei Rozansky, and NASA's Mike Hopkins. They are now on a six-hour journey to the International Space Station. And uh, pressure reports and Everything went according to plan. Everything went as expected. Again, the Soyuz has reached orbit. All of the communications antennas and the solar rays have been deployed as planned. Five. ISS Mission Control Moscow and SG-1 for further. Breaking up. Go ahead. R-7 team command. Uh, Fyodor. Launch and descent have been successful. All elements have been deployed and everything is going on nominally at the moment. Great, Nikolai. Great. Then everything seems to be really normal. Oh, okay. We just can't wait. Well, keep waiting, guys, but it should happen soon. Uh, but, Fyodor, you can proceed with your activities and keep us posted. And as soon as you'll be... Here's a look at the telemetry screen on board the uh, Soyuz itself. Again, this vehicle now heading for a rendezvous with the International Space Station that took place, should take place at 9.48 p.m. Central Time tonight. Right. Okay. And then I will call you. Very good. Very good. Very good. Twenty-four, fifteen point one, twenty-five, seventeen point three, twenty-six, two six three, propellant eight eight zero, parameters copied. 